Hey there, I'm Shane. I hope you're having a good day. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing some of the photos and shots that I got while going on a hike down at Spencer's Creek. And I visited a few of the key locations in the area, which are Two's Falls, Webster's Falls, and Dundas Peak, and really everything in between. If you haven't been on this hike, I highly recommend it. It's one of the nicest in the areas and it's really cool how you can see so many different spots all from kind of one central area. And I do recommend if you are gonna go, make sure you bring a pair of boots or waterproof shoes because there's a lot of uh, opportunity to get your feet wet accidentally. I only managed to slip into the river one time um, but yeah, it's uh, certainly a very wet one, but it was a, a really nice day out and I took along two cameras actually. One, which is the newest camera that I have, the Sony uh, A7S III, which is what I shoot most of my videos on now, as well as the first camera that I ever really used, which was the Sony NEX 5N which I got 10 years ago and it's the camera I learned how to shoot in manual mode on which now after so much time using it again I'm surprised I learned on it at all because the camera only has one dial on the back of it to control all your settings so it certainly took a lot of patience to use but it's not a bad thing and it's good to slow down every so often to appreciate the moment a little bit more the perk of the day was there was absolutely no one else out there and I only walked by a handful of people which was awesome because it really gave me as much time as I wanted to spend at each spot and get to see a lot of wildlife that I don't think I would have been able to otherwise. As I approached Webster's Falls I could tell it already was going to be awesome. The flow was really good at the falls, and the light was just perfect on it. So I got a few more long exposure photos here. I used a 10 stop ND filter with, I think, a five second exposure, and I shot a couple panoramas, but it was fun to be able to see how much water was actually going down them. It's kind of the perfect amount. One of my favorite things to do when it's like this is to go behind the falls. You definitely get a good shower, but it is really fun to be able to see the falls from behind. And it's kind of a unique experience. And one of my favorite photos is always getting a photo on the far side of the falls, looking back at the river. And it makes a really cool composition where you can see the, the river flowing away from the falls. I've probably taken that photo a dozen times, but I still love it every time. Though there weren't many people out, there certainly were a lot of bugs, and I thought I'd try and get a few macro photos. But with the old camera, it was a little bit difficult, because I could only go up to like a thousand ISO before the image fell apart. But a few of them turned out kind of cool, and I was happy with the results, even though I only got a handful of them. Before heading back to my car, I thought I'd go the literal extra mile and climb up to Dundas Peak. And it's quite the hill to go up, but usually it's worth it, but I actually forgot. Since the last time I went there, they put up a fence around the entirety of the peak, which kind of is unfortunate because it really is much more limited to what you can see up there now but it kind of is what it is. There was a bunch of people that were injured from kind of getting too close to the edge or trying to climb down. So it was necessary, but it still was very unfortunate that it had to happen. I still can get some good photos up there at least though. I kind of lost track of time while I was on this hike and the only thing to really remind me about how long I was out for was that on my way back, my headphone batteries actually died. So I have a new lesson and that is to bring a set of wired headphones for the next hike I go on, if I'm gonna be out this long. I hope to go on a few more 
long hikes like this and make videos similar to this this summer in the coming months as I drive around with my new car and go on a few more adventures. But thanks for coming along on this one with me and I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.